So you got yourselves a brand new True Wireless Earbuds. Congratulations, I hope you like it. But first, here are some frequently asked questions that I get throughout the years. Hopefully this can help you get up and running super quickly. So let's get into it. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and today we'll be going through the 5 things you should know and do when you first get your TrueWaz earbuds. Now, I won't be featuring any product here but just a quick disclaimer, this video is not paid by anyone. I will always give you my own honest, my own honest opinion and if you want to support what I do, please consider using the links in the description below to buy anything because I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe because we're going straight to number one is to peel the sticker off. I mean, hear me out. I'm, I'm just joking here. But some, some people in the very early days thought that their earbuds were broken because when they put it into the case, either the earbuds don't light up or they don't disconnect or they don't charge at all. Turns out they just forgot to take off the protective plastic on the charging connectors. So yeah, be sure to take those out. Those are there to prevent the battery from draining on shipping. And yeah, let's just move on to number two. Get the right fit. Now, this may seem obvious, but this is extremely important to have a good sound, especially an in-ear earbud, so it's good to repeat it here. Of course, you can skip this point if you have a half in-ear or AirPod style earbuds, but I encourage everyone to try all the ear tips that come inside the box. And when your earbuds have an ear fin attachment, try them all out as well, but be very careful because while they make the earbuds stay very securely inside your ear, they will hurt most likely after a couple of hours. So at the very least, try to pick one that puts the least pressure on your ear. Now touching on third party ear tips like comply tips which uses memory foam and spin fit which has a more adaptable fit, you can definitely try these out but you have to make sure that your case can accommodate them because some of these, especially the cheaper foam tips like the one I got from KZ are very tall and the case won't close with them. Even worse, the earbuds won't even charge. So make sure your case has enough clearance. Usually I mentioned that in my review, if they have enough, if not, then you know, don't bother with it. But moving on to number three. Can I charge the case only without the earbuds? The answer is absolutely. You can charge it with one earbud inside or both or nothing. Any combination will do. One thing you gotta know is these earbuds and the case might get warm during charging, especially when you charge wirelessly. Just let them cool a little bit. It's normal. The more important point is actually in the number four. What power adapter should I use to charge? Well, you've probably seen a lot of warnings telling you not to charge with a fast charger. And for me personally, I do recommend so. Try to get the smallest adapter you can get in your house. Ideally, you should use something like the notorious 5 watt iPhone charger here, but plugging into a laptop or a PC would be fine too. I think anything up to 10 to 12 watts like this iPad charger or the Samsung charger will be fine. Essentially, you have to know how much wattage can your charger output. To calculate it, try and take a look at your charger right now. Check out the output section on their writing section here. See how much voltage and amperes it can provide at the maximum. Power equals to voltage times ampere or electrical current. Now most power bricks would give out 5 volts unless it's a fast charger and the current can be 1 or 2 or 2.4 amps. If you see anything like 9 volts or 3 amps, do not use them to charge your earbuds. Well, the main reason is simple, it is for safety. These are tiny electronics operating on tiny power and you never want to put in too much power inside. Well, in the past, I've had no issues trying to charge my earbuds with a fast charger and I know a good adapter and a good power management chip on the earbuds should communicate on the ideal power draw, but I don't necessarily trust all the cheaper earbuds to do so. But of course, for the power adapter, I always advise everyone to go the extra mile and get a good quality one, either from the original manufacturer or a trusted third party like Anchor or Aki. Sadly, this is not it. 
Now, for the cable itself, you don't really need to worry as the power being delivered is not that much. But I repeat again, try not to use a fast charger. If you don't have a small power brick, charge it with your laptop. And if your true was your butt still stopped working, then contact your seller for warranty. Not me. <laughs> Moving on to number five. Know how to reset the earbuds. This is rather known as a factory reset to repair disconnected earbuds. And pairing it at the same time, is that a pun? There's no one size fits all way to do this, but most manufacturers seem to use the procedure I explained right here. Some others has a button on the case, some ask you to tap the touch sensor while inside the case, your miles may vary. Just check them out in the manual book, but remember, do not throw your earbuds away just because only one side is playing music, you can still reset it. This is not a big deal. It just happens sometimes. If you find this issue to repeat often, I suggest you to contact your manufacturer or your seller and claim your warranty. So those are the five things that you should know and do the first time you got your brand new TrueWise earbuds. Hopefully this can clear up some of your questions and if you got more, let me know by leaving a comment down below. I'll try my best to reply and also you can contact me personally in Twitter and Instagram. Okay, that's gonna be it for my video this time around. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you find this helpful, subscribe for more and hopefully I can see you again in the next video. I'm Kenneth, signing out. Bye. Motorcycle, come on. Ah. All right, time to edit.